What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Daily Boosters, where we crack a pack of magic every single day of the week. It is Tuesday night. We are inching closer and closer to a long weekend. Cannot wait for that. Have Monday off, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three-day weekend. You know how it goes. Much needed. I'll just put it that way. Much needed. I do have a wedding to go to this Thursday. So I will try to get a video out to you guys of a booster pack. Um, I'll probably just pre-record it and then upload it early while I'm at work on Thursday or something. So we don't miss an upload. We are here with a 15 card Return to Ravnica booster pack. Thought I would get one because I am very excited for the new sets coming out in September. The end of September, early October. The Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Alliance or something. I can't remember the second one after this, but Guilds of Ravnica is the next one. Really looking forward to that. So we'll get into this older Return to Ravnica booster pack. See what we can't pull. See if we can get a Mythic. Or a higher priced rare. Let's get right into it. I think I've only opened one booster pack of Return to Ravnica on the channel. Cards definitely feel a little bit different from newer cards. So the first card in the pack is Avengian Arrow. Definitely looking for a Sphinx or an Angel, a Dragon, any kind of Mythic. Next card is Terrace Worm, a 5-5 Zombie Worm with Scavenge. If you pay 7 mana, you can exile this card from your graveyard, put a number of plus 1 plus 1 counters equal to the card's power. On a target creature. Chorus of Might. <clears throat> yeah, these cards definitely feel a lot different than the newer cards. Dramatic Rescue. Return target creature to its owner's hand. You gain two life. I might have to keep that to the side for my Sphinx Angel deck. Next is Radkos Shred Freak. I'm not sure if they're going to bring the guilds back. I think they are, like Radkos and all that for... Uh, the new Ravnica set, so that'll be cool to get back into some older type creatures or just type gameplay scenarios, I guess, or different cards. You know what I'm trying to say. Next card is Destroy the Evidence. I'll let you read what it does there. Stone Fair Crocodile. Really cool looking art. It's a mean looking croc. It's a 3 2 creature. Gains lifelink until end of turn if you pay the mana. Gorehouse Chainwalker, 2-1 Human Warrior with Unleash. No Sphinx yet, no Angels yet. In action, Injunction. Detain target creature and opponent controls, then draw a card. Is that Guildgate? Is the double-sided, or not double-sided, but du double-colored land... Aquas Steed, I guess is how you pronounce the next card, which is the first uncommon. It is a 1-3 beast. Celestna Kirun. It's an artifact tap for a forest or a plane. Uh, a forest and a plains will make this artifact become a 3-3 green and white wolf artifact creature until end of turn. Last uncommon. Azorius Charm. Choose one. Creatures you control gain lifelink till end of turn, or draw a card, or... Okay, so you get three choices. Or put target attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library. The rare is... Jared's Orders. Search your library for up to two creature cards and reveal them. Put one in your hand, the other in your graveyard, and shuffle your library. We did not get... A good rare. We did not get an angel. We did not get a sphinx. We did, however, get a Duels of the Planeswalker expansion card ad. That is a 15 card return to Ravnica booster pack. Leave a like. Please subscribe for more videos. Be sure to tune in tomorrow to see what set we decide to crack into. Have a good night as I hit the camera on the way out. Till tomorrow's video, peace.